Good morning, folks. Welcome to Sham Tech Minds. Welcome to my brand new video on the prerequisites of searching a job in Dubai or UAE region. So, as I was talking in my previous uh, video on the prerequisites uh, on the visa, passport, accommodation, food, travel, I would like to uh, I uh, stopped at the uh, travel in my previous video. So, I would like to start from there again. So, on a, on an average, every day um, thousands of job seekers are there in UAE, wherein every day people travel. So when when you travel, you need to you need to think about few things here. First, you need to carry your passport with you, visa, visit visit visa copy with you, okay. So that anyone catches you, you can show that, okay. So don't we should not uh, go out of the room without your passport or a visit visa copy, okay. Please make sure you carry all these documents when you carry when you walk around in UAE, okay. So these this is one thing. And next, let's go to when you. When you are going for a job, you have this metro trains here, where is the lot of connectivity, the connectivity is really excellent here. Business Bay has a connectivity, so Business Bay, there are a lot of companies in Business Bay and industrial areas are there, wherein you can walk around and you can give resumes uh, into individual uh, warehouses or factories out there, where they, in case, it all depends on your luck. In case there is a vacancy there, they will immediately take your resume and they may call for an interview the very next day or the same moment. So please uh, carry a very good set of clothes with you, wherein please be presentable. Presentable, it, it, it does not mean that you need to look beautiful. Presentable is the way how you present yourself. You need you need to wear a tie, you need to wear uh, a formals, you need to wear a shoe uh, which is clean. So always be be sure that you, you look presentable, clean shaved. It 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 it's, uh, it it shows that how professional you are, how how uh, uh, interested you are in in terms of uh, searching for a job. Okay, so this is this is one thing which you need to take care. So and uh, when it comes to the second thing, yeah, I was talking about food. Yeah, food doesn't uh, take thousand dirhams. Okay, so it all uh, you, you need you need to search out there nearby restaurants you can you can opt for a mess facility mess facility maximum is 3 and 3 350 to 400 dirhams a mess facility so they give you three times meal so that that will be really helpful for you so when it comes to an accommodation is around 350 to 400 food is also around 350 to 400 so both put together is around 800 dirhams and when it comes to your travel it uh, in in case you're traveling uh, on a day two two interviews or uh, i mean every alternative day you're traveling it takes say five dirhams ten dirhams in a day so approximately you need around 300 to 400 dirhams for your interviews so when it comes to 300 400 dirhams all put together if you're having 1200 dirhams for one month you will you'll be able to survive here so this is the uh, maximum which I am saying. So, please keep in your mind that carry sufficient money here. Here, uh, it is uh, it is very uh, very much required that you need to have uh, sufficient money with you in terms of to in terms to survive. Okay, these are the uh, these are the main things prerequisites when you when you come in uh, come here in search of a job. And second thing. There are a lot of uh, people out here, they promise you that uh, you come, I will get you a job, uh, please come down, uh, you pay me this much money, I will uh, get a job for you. Please do not fall prey for it. Those are all myth. Until and unless it is a reputed, it is approved by the government agencies here, until and unless it is that, please do not fall prey for anything. I request not to. It is not that uh, everyone are, everyone here are uh, bad, everyone are good, everyone are good in this world. But it is us who need to decide which is bad and which is good for us. Okay? So in that terms, you, you, you please see how you can uh, uh, search and optimize uh, searching your job uh, without falling prey for anyone. Okay? So do not give money to anyone uh, asking that, okay, that person, he know, I know him, he will give me, he will get me a job, I will give him money, do not, do not. It, it again, uh, you are, you are, it, 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 it says that you do not have self-confidence in you in terms of to search a job. So, you should have self-confidence in you. So, that is when you will know, okay, I need to search a job. Yeah, this is, this is what I need to do. This is what I need to search. So, second thing which I am, and these are, these are the things which you need to please take care. Okay, and let me now talk about what are the daily routine of a job seeker. Okay, this is the second step. Now, I explained about the prerequisites. You need to have money, you need to have passport, visit, visa, accommodation, food, travel, all those things I explained now. What is the second thing? What is the daily routine of a job seeker? What is the daily routine? You need to get up in the morning, you need to search, you need to apply your jobs, uh, the job portals, you need to see where all job openings is there, try to get a phone number, 
when you land in the airport itself they'll be giving you free uh, sim cards there you just have to show your visit visa copy and your passport you can get a sim card at the airport itself so that you just recharge and you can start making calls okay so please uh, make sure that please uh, uh, be very cautious about making calls because here it it goes in dirhams one dirham 50 fills so it's very costly to make a call so uh, even also think 10 times before making a call okay so that is also one thing prerequisite uh, even the sim card also falls under the prerequisite category okay and next thing what it comes okay when you are applying for a job there are a lot of portals indeed is there naukri gulf is there and uh, linkedin is also one of the biggest asset here in terms of the job uh, searching market so when you when you search for a job please be updated in your linkedin your linkedin should be up to date your social media should be up to date what is a linkedin linkedin is something uh, so it is a it is also a social media platform where all kind of job updates comes to you okay so please make sure that you have your uh, uh, social media up to date okay your linkedin should be up to date this is what i can say and even naukri gulf your cv should be indeed so as i mentioned in my uh, career guidance even previous videos know your strengths keep keep your resumes updated according to the job description when a, when a job description comes in an in, in indeed or naukri gulf please uh, change your uh, uh, cv in terms to that that is whatever you know but your keywords may change so only that you need to change i'm not trying to you to add which is video which you don't know you know but the keywords keywords will be check keywords will have a change in all the job job description someone would have put a long description someone would have put only a keyword so it it depends those things should be uh, should be appearing in your cv this is what you need to see you need to say okay so hope uh, this video also was uh, fruitful for you uh, for your uh, um, prerequisites and uh, the job routine daily routine of a job seeker okay so all the best for you guys uh, please do like share uh, comment subscribe and hit the bell light uh, bell icon there uh, so that you can get notifications uh, on my next videos okay have a great day all the best thanks for watching sham tech minds bye bye